to game number two here in the losers match here between Maru and Stats. In the upper right, with that crazy build in that last game, he is Gino Green Wings Maru. <sighs> I was gonna try to match when he side. I would be a terrible ventriloquist. <laughs> um, down here in the bottom right, yeah. in the teal. KT Roaster stats. Okay. Yeah, uh, they're both sharing the right side of the map. This was the map that was picked by Maro since he did lose game number one. That's right. Uh, a good map. In fact, he chose uh, Nimbus against Parting. Kind of interesting uh, how he's changed against stats. Yeah, that's true. Huh. We have the gateway coming down here now. I wonder why that is. Well, Maybe because of Parting's here. Nexus first or something. Like, I mean, hmm. this is a very different Protoss player, too. Yeah, yeah. Stats and Parting are to two completely different Protosses. Yeah, that's... They're, in fact, uh, statistically speaking, 100% different Protosses. Wow. Wow, Tosis. <laughs> you give me a wink after that. <laughs> We've done this before. We say something that's not funny. And the only thing we can do is try to wink at the other guy. <laughs> see if he can laugh anyways. It always works. Yeah. Otherwise, I have to tickle you. <laughs> um, so the gateway is going to finish up. And it looks like we're going to have the cybernetic score come down here. Note how these uh, structures are placed at the bottom here to make somewhat of a wall here since Reapers are so annoying in this matchup early yeah. on. Now, uh, Terran went for a quick command center, and now he's getting yeah. two barracks. It's a, it's a good opener. We saw Innovation already do this a couple times today. Maybe even more than a couple times. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Protoss has very few openings, and I would say no common openings that actually punish this at all. So... It's actually quite a nice opener. It's just, it can be a little bit harder to scout your opponent. You normally don't get a Reaper with it. So you have to kind of like try to put in a little pressure and kind of try to counter everything. Yeah, it's like a blind build basically. Yeah. It's cool that he does it on this map though because this is exactly the opposite of Innovation's play. Innovation's play is a little bit predictable where it's like, oh, okay, on this map, Reapers are great, so I'm going to go Reaper and I think I already have maybe a slight edge. Whereas Maru... I feel like he's more like, uh, almost like MVP sort of, where the randomization of builds almost seems truly random at times, where it's like, oh, you're doing this build on this map? I actually didn't expect this. Okay, cool. Yeah. You know, this is this can definitely catch someone off guard. Well, we're still waiting for the Protoss's you know, tech to come up here. It's a little bit of a slow game here at the start. Not uncommon for this matchup, mm -hmm. PVT. Uh, usually neither race wants to take the risk of being the aggressor and then getting behind um, since it is pretty hard to recover. And there goes Stats' probe. Maro easily guns that down. The Robo Bay is now coming here for Stats. This is not a Robo Bay with uh, Twilight or anything else like that. No, just straight just Robo Bay. Straight up Robo. Well, so uh, I think he's going to be getting Observers, probably Immortals, maybe a Warp Prism. We've seen a lot of Warp Prism openings used here yeah, today. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised at all about a Warp Prism. Immortals would be slightly surprising, but I mean, you still can do things like Immortal Pushes against Terran. They're just not really popular anymore. Uh, but that would actually, I think that would surprise me the most. I think he has to just go into Colossus tech. And the thing is, you can, like, look, we actually don't see any Forge or anything yet. This could be... Like a, a two base Colossus all in. That is a very strong build. Yeah, uh, it certainly could be. With a robo like this? Yeah, I mean, why not? He's going to get his observer over there pretty quickly. Uh, you know, now for Maro, he knows exactly what's going on, at least up to this point. There's mm -hmm. still a few variations for how Protoss plays from here. Yeah, let's see. Uh, if and when he throws down a forge. There and there's the Robo effect. Support Bay. So, yeah, he is going to get the Colossus, I hear. Meanwhile, for Terran, he's getting the concussive shells, uh, additional gas. It seems like Maro's just doing a very, very textbook um, build up play here mm -hmm. for Terran. Well, I still don't see any Forge tasteless. And there are some builds where you get really late Forge nowadays, but I also don't see any Twilight. So, 
I'm starting to feel, and yeah, here's another sentry. I'm starting to feel like this is going to be a two-base Colossus on, which I think actually is not even a, a bad choice for this map. I think that's a good build to mix in here. Well, here comes that army for Morrow. Um, he wants to trigger the Nexus Cannon and just get a read on what his opponent has here. Ooh, oh, he might have let a little bit good. too much That in. was not good at all. Oh, man, and he missed the force field oh, as well. Oh, my God. Is Morrow just going to walk up the ramp? Yes, he is. It's a good idea, Tasteless, and then he does <laughs> it. Uh, all right, so he's killed two sentries, two stalkers, forced a Nexus Cannon. Oh, my God, he's going for that Mothership yeah. Core there, too. Won't quite get that he one. He could actually run back at that Mothership Core. Look at that. No more oh for you. Oh my god. Well, we Stats should be going to trouble. game number three here. Yeah, this um, is the type of lead you don't want to give Maro. Maru. Oh, I said Maro. Maro. Yeah. Maro also. You don't want to give him that lead either. That's Maro a huge also lead. a great uh, Starcraft player. That's right. Uh, that was just brutal. Look at that. He's yeah. lost 400 gas. That looked gas like uh, uh, two different leagues in the ladder facing yeah. each other there. You He's know like, what? Oh no! And the guy just goes up his ramp. You know what? It ah. Especially sucks here for stats. Like after you do that much damage, you expect the claw assault, and it could have been something that caught him off guard before. Yeah, I know. <laughs> But, like, after you do that, you're like, well, I mean, he's just going to attack me with his Colossus, right? Yeah. That's he what he's going to do, anything. isn't he? So, like, like, I guess I just have to be ready for one attack, and then I win this yeah. game. Yeah. You make a couple medevacs. I think he's going to stop after these two and go into Vikings, because this feels to me, like, super obvious. Yeah. Um, that's unfortunate there for stats. I mean, the force fields themselves were not good enough uh, to lock out that army. Mm -hmm. And... I mean, that's a lot to lose early on, man. Those sentries are really important. See, the Mothership core is really annoying. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Mono just continuing to, to tech up. He's a, he's actually ahead in every way. He's ahead uh, in his SCV count, his army supply. I mean, it, it's crazy. Stats is taller than he is. Stats might be taller, yes. That's it, though. That's it. That's the, that's the only thing. He's more on KT Rolster than Maru is. That might be able to blow uh, blow bigger bubbles of chewing gum, you know? It's possible. It's possible. But those are the only possible leads he has right now. Uh, okay. Well, if Stats was blowing bubbles this game, it'd pop and stick on his glasses. <laughs> it's the type of game he's having. Now, we do oh, have actually man. Maru is kind of going around with a drop. Oh, my God. But Maru, all he this needs to do is, is hold like, on. This actually is like... This, this could might. be really bad. I think actually... I don't think he We're should gonna, actually be going across right now, Tasis. Yeah, um, a counter drop he just doesn't. Got the, he just got the bunker, man. Now he is going to drop in here. There's not much. Oh god, this is getting really bad. Maro not doing enough damage. I think Maro's panicking right now. Well, he um, should be able stats. to kill that. Yeah. Stats here. Okay, guys, this is really straightforward. Maro should not have pushed out of that drop. He could have held this attack here from stats. Well, I. Okay, see, uh, this is really smart from stats. He immediately goes to the main because what Maru has to do now is kill the natural and defend his main base and just sack his nap. But stats knows this, so he's up here on top of the production. He needed the time that it takes to kill the oh command center God. and all that to actually buy him time to make enough units to hold this. But as is, this army should not be able to hold. Okay, he's it gonna absolutely come up here. should not. This Viking uh, is really, really, uh, the Vikings do a really good job against these Colossi, but it looks like there's just so much damage output here. We have um, the nice force fields there, keeping those Marauders in the back. The maybe Vikings. he'll actually end up holding this. He gets the Colossus. What is this game? There are five SCVs left, Artosis. Oh, my God. 49 probes at the moment. Maru walking back slowly oh, with his units. This game units. is so weird. I cannot believe this. This landed Viking taking out two Stalkers. Picks it up in the medevac. Oh, man. He does hold I for now. I can't believe that this happened. You know, Maru, total panic mode. Now, Sat's like, I can't believe I just did that. Maru actually has two command centers dropping mules against 49 probes on one base. So this is kind of funny. There's no splash damage for stats. Yeah. Maru's drop. Oh my god! Could oh, not if it flies into those stalkers, it can't do anything. But uh, like, let's say that he goes and forces a cancel on the natural. Uh, There's a possibility to fight back. Okay, he could just start warping in zealots over here. Yeah, that's I pretty good. I think actually move. stats survives a counterattack. I. Guys, well, this all goes back to the fact that Maro picked up a huge chunk of his army mm -hmm. right before Stats attacked. All he had to do was survive an attack from Stats. Yeah, I would say he definitely holds this, but can he force a cancel on this Nexus? Uh, well, he's arcing his army out here. The Zealots are all gone. Oh, there's one Zealot there. Now it's gone. Ooh. Wow, everything lives. 
Well, this is uh, this is craziness. Maru fighting back as best he can, but 13 SCVs this against 49 pros is pretty tough. Uh, and he's going to keep pushing out. He's actually gunning down medevacs now. Mm. And these, uh, there's not enough here to heal these uh, Marauders. Marauders are just going to go on the run. What right, a well. crazy game, man. <laughs> what a weird... This is a crazy day of games. Yeah, seriously. Um, wow. <laughs> what is this? Okay. So he's going to come back now. And it looks like Warp Prism... Uh, it's just barely going to get away here since uh, uh, Mario's Viking stopped uh, chasing. Now, we, do we have any observers out? I don't think we do. Uh, you might be right about I that. I don't think actually. there's an observer out with this army. And just to point out, uh, that would make a, if you attacked with Widow Mines with this mm -hmm. army very strong. But Certainly. yeah, there's oh, no, he has oh, no, one. There's one. I don't see where it is though. It could be over. Uh, oh, I think it's actually out here. It's right up there. It was at the very top of our screen. Okay. I saw the shadow of it. All right, now can he get something done here against these Colossi? Does get a few free shots off, which is nice. Still no blink here for stats. You know, uh, Maru is catching up here. 24 workers to 49. Yeah. Wow, that was actually a pretty good Widow Mine. And he doesn't have his detection here yet, so those Widow Mines do recharge. Uh, can do something, but no, this is like just no army for Maru. And in fact, even the Observer comes back. Okay, and another base is being taken here from stats. You know, it's a really rare thing to have a game that gets this crazy and gets close to normalizing. Mm. Um, will, it, will it get there, though, to I mean, the actual... As, I, I as, think that he's just going to kill him. As well as Maro, um, the stats is played, Maro really did drop the ball here, guys. He just did not have to drop it into his opponent's base. Well, Tosis and I were not you, off with the fact that the you, army was bigger. He could have gotten a nice surround. I, he definitely could have taken a much better battle there. Like, I, I understand that trying to counterattack, he may have felt like he needed a little bit more time. Maybe he couldn't get the army to pull back. But it wasn't uh, the case. Stats was, was completely just, all in. Just too much up here. Mm. And also Stats is controlling so well. Looks like that uh, Viking at the top is still doing damage to that Colossus. Yeah. Uh, there might just barely be enough here to hold. Let's see. Oh, maybe not. The Zealots are cleaning this up. Stalkers need to gun down these Vikings over here. But it looks like the damage has already been done. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Crazy. Stats is going to go on to face off against Parting. A PvP for our final best of three here oh. in Group B of the GSL Code S. Not PvT all day. Unfortunately, this man is going to be, some might say, marooned in Code A. Oh, man, Artosis, you're on a killing spree right I now. I am. Well, guys, uh, Maru, two very uh, weird games we just saw from him. The first game, he did a build that is from another time period of StarCraft. A build that's not really used anymore. Pushing with tanks here, Raven. And you can see the guy is just crushed after losing that. And I mean, that, you normally that don't see him react game, that heavily, to be honest. Uh, yeah. You know, his team doing so well recently. They're all like just kicking ass. And then he falls out last place here. He knows that you know there was maybe a few misplays, a few ways he could have done things different. Maybe the series turns around. But uh, today, he just didn't have it. That's the nature of competition. Uh, he played well, but it wasn't good enough. Uh, he's out of the round of 16. We're going to go on to our final PvP here, our final game today. It's going to be parting up against stats after this short break. So 